Well, this is a 96 Dodge Ram 2500 converted to a power wagon. Let's see how we can make this tailgate look nicer from the beginning. If you if you know your older Dodge Ram tailgates, you have a groove that goes across the tailgate. You can actually get a small skinny chrome plastic to put inside that crevice. And of course your your big medallion that says Dodge Ram always looks super tough on the back of the truck. And since I did convert it to a power wagon the power wagon emblem it was 159 bucks <laughs> if you look at the bottom I added another strip two strips actually to the tailgate so one thick one and then one at the very edge came out pretty nice This is what it looks like. Further away. <laughs> now, if you want the bottom of the bumper clean, you can either add the, the four and a half inch pipes in the back. But usually you want to get a brand new trailer hookup, make it look nice and clean as well. Tail lights, LEDs. Don't get the cheap ones for 45 bucks. They're just the black around the edge fades. Looks nasty after about three, four, five months. But if you get the real nice, expensive ones like the 179 bucks to 200, you have the the LEDs over here, and you also have one LED on the side, which is pretty cool. Now if you're going to go with the decal, you might as well go with a nice super big decal. Extinguish it. And I got the chrome side as well. Took out the old factory black and put it as chrome. And with the chrome, it looks nicer. Gives it a nice accent. Chrome side pipes. And with the mirror, I think for all intents and purposes, the mirror on 96, 97, 95, they are, those, they just have to be replaced. They're too flimsy, they don't work as well. If you're gonna buy some mirrors, go all out. Get the super nice ones. These are like 400, but they have the turn single light in it as well. You can use it for towing because they do extend out. Power wagon on the side. Took out the old 2500 emblem off of it. If you want to. Hook up your rims with the same color as the uh, truck. You can do that as well, which is the same thing I did. Painted them. Bought the rims for 50 bucks. Got a four inch, I mean, got a, a two inch leveling kit under here for the front. Got the nice stainless steel bars across the grill. Got that really cool look. I don't know if yours has that bottom spoiler. Usually I see a lot of Rams that don't have it. You want to get your Fabtech stabilizers. If you have that uh, death wobble, pretty good. Very good. It stopped mine.
I think for 30 bucks, got that nice chrome differential plate. The tires are, are, are a must. You're going to have to spend at least $1,200, $1,400 on a good set of tires. I think your safest, biggest tire that you can get for a Dodge Ram 1500 2500 without having to do a, a body lift or lift it up any other way would be a uh, 325 50 or 325-60 Here's another cool thing. I don't know about the black part on your Dodge, but this was an idea I came out with the uh, carbon, the black carbon fiber. Looks pretty good. And of course, you can put the trim, your own trim, around the back window instead of just having it plain. Get your own custom. They sell nice custom engine emblems as well. That's about it. I think your your headlights are, are definitely gonna have to be changed. Dude. You got a ninety-four, five, six, seven. Get some good ones. And get them. Power wagon in there as well. So there you have it. You have to spend a little money, but if you love the second generation Dodge Ram, and if you're gonna if you're gonna get the gas cap, don't get the one that just has the flap. Maybe one can just open it. Get the one with the key. It's nicer. That's about it. Got any questions? Don't hesitate to uh, throw them to me, alright? Take care, guys.